so there we go. They're, they're teaching you new mechanics. That's good. Like a, it, with some things, they don't actually explain it to you. Like with the with the mushrooms before with the wizard, you know the the mushrooms and the the slippery bit. They don't actually tell you anything because you can figure it out. Searched the farm, but saw no one there. The nasties must have fled at the sight of me. He's also slightly more charming than last game. Last game he was really, really annoying. Yeah, so, so the mechanics that they don't explain, or they don't need to explain, they won't. They only explain the things that they need to, which is a good thing. Is that thing actually turning by... oh, it is turning by itself. Like, earlier... Hmm, did I miss loot? No, I don't think so. Alright. Uh, change weapon. Earlier I was saying we might have trouble differentiating between foreground and background. I'm not finding that at the moment. I'm finding it pretty good. So maybe that was a... I was worried about nothing. Oh, oh, oh. that looks dangerous. Oh, if you block, if you have the hammer, and then you press block, you automatically switch back to the sword. See, that's another improvement, because in the last game, you, you couldn't do that. You had to manually switch back, and then, and then block. So, you know, a lot of these small improvements to game... Was that thing... Okay, that's not... Small improvements to game... I like that, I like that. They're just kind of tightening up the game. Making everything. Oh, that's Be cool. Nasty weeds. I'll show you what for. I'm Pontius the Brave. And that's I won't cool. Fall in a battle with dandelions. Wow! Look at that. Like the vines just creep up on you. That's amazing. The trine. Pontius had never understood what exactly the trine did, but he knew that the artifact was there to help. And so Pontius felt happy. He couldn't think of a better quest than saving his kingdom. Late that night, Zoya was concealed in the shadows, hidden from the shimmering moonlight. I'm pretty sure she's wearing even less clothing than before. Seriously, she looks like a stripper. How is she a thief? The, the, the character design, I'm just gonna... Look, just because she has boobs, it doesn't mean she can defy logic. Or may maybe, maybe it does, I don't know. Look, it, it, it shouldn't. It shouldn't mean that she can defy logic, just because she has boobs. Look at this. Everything else makes sense, seriously. The wizard looks like a wizard. The warrior looks like a fat warrior, but it's still a warrior. The thief looks like a stripper. That's so disappointing. Anyway, in the meantime... We still got the grapple. We don't have much to grapple to, though. All right. Let's see if they make the the thief overpowered again. Oh wait, are we actually stealing stuff? Can I shoot the pigeon? The pigeon just blocked the arrow. Wow. Oh, is that the the rope? No, the rope blocked the arrow. The rope blocked the arrow. Okay. Hey, look at that! She's balancing on the rope! That's a nice animation. Alright, let's see what's going on. Shoot the bow, left mouse button. But why? What am I shooting? Oh, I'm shooting at that, I see. Oh, look at that! Like, the, 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 that, that thing drops and then the screen shakes a bit. Just the little improvements. I like it. Wait, is that... Is that a... Do I die? No, of course not. It's like the first level. Do I? That flips over, I see. See how they're teaching you these physics things. Through the game. Grappling hook, use the right mouse button. Oh, wow, look at that! Did you see that? You grapple, and it pulls you up. Remember in the last game, like if there were pits down here and you grapple up, and you just kind of swing into the acid and you swing into the into the spikes. That's gone. Wow, they improved everything. 
I, oh, I think they improved everything. Does that is that still gonna? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's bringing you anyway. Let me just um. Zoya grab that. The town as quietly as a whisper. What I want to know is if we can still triangle jump. We can. Oh, it's easier too. It's easier to triangle jump. Did you see that? Did you see that? That was so easy. Oh wow, that is so much easier than the last game. That is so much easier than. Oh no! Oh, that's a rope down there. Okay, I see. In fact, how far can I triangle jump from? Nope, not quite that far. All right. Swinging is faster. You don't have to rev up as much. And triangle jumping is easier. Wow, yes. They're doing everything right. I love it. I love it. They're literally doing everything right. What's down here? Wait, we can get down here too. Actually, no, let's go back up. I'm pretty sure there's stuff up there. Well, there's that thing there, at least. Let me just swing up. Look at that background. That looks nice. Alright, I think the loot was... There it is. Um, there's a thing... How do I... Can I jump on that? Yes, I can. Oh, there's a, there's a roof underneath here, I see. Um, am I supposed to go above? Or oh, the loot's there, I see, and there's a slippery thing above there. Cool, look at, look at that. Nice bridge. Background's nice. Yeah, the controls are much, much better. You don't, you don't slide around anywhere near as much. Nowhere near as spastic. I don't... I can't tell if they're helping you though, if they're, actu if they're actively helping you. Like if they're actually pulling you onto platforms or if it's just easier. Not sure about that part. Let me just um go back to it. I'm sorry if I'm wasting time. I'm really interested in this. I'm really interested if look. Let me try and almost miss this. Oh, that's not right. That's definitely not right. So that was my fault. I mean, the main thing about games like this is whether you feel like it's your fault or the game's fault. If you feel like it's the game's fault, then that's that's not not a good thing. I don't know if that was my fault or not. Hmm. Why am I having so much trouble now? Okay, let me let me just do this slowly. Nope. I can't I can't actually tell if it's pulling me onto the platform or not. What if I Nope. It doesn't hmm. Alright, let me just I feel like maybe it's actually pulling me towards the platform when I do that. Well, I can, you know, I can turn around, I can stop myself deliberately. If I stop pressing the arrow, you turn around. Well, I mean, you know, you just kind of fall straight down. I, did I just kind of stop? Yeah. I think it might be pulling me onto the platform because I thought maybe I should have overjumped that. No, let me. Just, no, that doesn't work. I'm really wasting your time, am I? I don't know. All right, last, last one, last one. Oh, I, I still can't really tell. I think, I think it's pulling you onto the platform. I think it's helping you a little bit. Not hundred percent sure. Then she saw a glimmering light moving on top of the old church. Hmm. All right, that means we're going up onto the old church. So you see how the the game's kind of telling you what to do without telling you what to do. Wait a minute, what did the what did the hint say? Oh, it just says swing. Hold up and down to wind the rope. Okay, I see. You can wind the rope. I know that. I think what they what they mean you is that you should do this and then why not? I don't think they're telling you to triangle jump which is interesting maybe you're not 
supposed to triangle stun, jump still. Or maybe you don't actually need to try triangle jump. Wait, oh, the thief can wall jump. The other guys can't. See that? I can still wall jump. I'm thinking maybe the game is not requiring you to triangle jump, but it's letting you do it if you really want to. Actually, we might do it here. Press jump on the wall to jump higher. Nope, they're telling you to uh, wall jump. They didn't tell you that in the last game. Oh, there's loot back there though. Hold on, let me just... Uh, the camera's still like Nope! Oh, no! How no! No! No, there was loot back! What did you... Why what are you did... doing here in the middle of the night? Not back to your old tricks and thievery! There's, there's loot back <laughs> oh, there. Oh, there's a perfectly good explanation there's for this. There's loot back there. Tell me, where are we going? There's we loot back really there. Yet. Something strange is going on. A new venture. Shall we go no, there? No, I can, you can see it. You can see the bottle at the left side of the screen. No! So the trine had come for the heroes, and the adventure was ready to begin. Amadeus worried for his family, while Pontius looked forward to their new quest. Zoya, of course, imagined what fabulous treasure they might find. Well, they're, they're building up the characters. I think they're doing a bit more of that than the last game. Or they're doing it more precisely than the last game. Although I still don't know if it matters. I mean, there, there's these three people and three different personalities. In the last game, it didn't actually matter to the game at all. Like, it didn't matter to the story, it didn't matter to the gameplay. We'll see if it matters in this game, but I want to go back and get that bit of loot. Can I replay that level? Is there like checkpoint? Let me just check the checkpoint. That is really pretty. This is in-game, it's not a cutscene. That's really good looking. Change character, A, B, uh, 1, 2, 3, V and C. I can use that too, that's interesting. Alright, I'm gonna... Choose or restart level. The story begins... Oh, I can't choose the checkpoint. First of the three heroes was Amadeus. I can't go back. Amadeus the wizard was asleep in his cot. Alright. What I'm gonna do is go back and grab that little bit of loot. And then I'm gonna take a break. When we come back, we go to the next chapter. I'm gonna do this in my own time. I'm not gonna waste your time going through it again. Um overall, much better than the last game. Much, much better than the last game. They they fixed I think they fixed all the problems in the last game. Or from the last game. That's amazing. These guys are, are amazing. Good job. Somebody give these guys a trophy.